Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we will be reviewing the movie Alone, released this year, 2020. So this movie is about a cold-blooded killer who hunts a widow in the wilderness after she escapes from his remote cabin in the Pacific Northwest. So this movie is a mystery slash thriller. Um, I feel like this movie really relates to a lot of things that are going on right now in the world with the whole trafficking situation and everything around that. Even though he wasn't trying to traffic her, he still went out of his way to kidnap her and lock her into his cabin in the woods, basically. And she obviously escapes, because that's what the, the description says of the movie. But yeah, I just got those that, that vibe from it, just watching it a little bit. This movie for me was like um, similar to a lot of other movies, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Like, it was nothing unique about it, in my opinion. So, going off of that, I feel the same way. But I feel like the only different thing was, was that she escaped. In the beginning, beginning, pretty much, of the mm. capturing. I don't know. I feel like there's always an escape, and then there's always a comeback, and then there's always a heroic thing at the end. So, for me, like, this movie was just... I don't know, I feel like, just like I've seen it before. And like it was very predictable because obviously she has to escape because then it, it's not interesting if she's just there the whole time and there's nothing. Mm -hmm. And obviously she's gonna have to run back into him again if he she escapes because if not, then the movie's over at that point. So yeah, it was just, pre I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it really. It was just really predictable in my opinion. And I'm not the predictable type because I normally can fall into movies where I don't try to predict anything. Like, I can normally fall into movies and I'm not really predicting anything. I can just be in the moment and kind of feel like I'm in the movie. But for this one, I, I just couldn't for some reason. And I just feel like I was predicting everything and I hate that. I don't ever want to predict things in movies. Even if it's like very easy for other people to predict, I normally can just like get past that and be able to just be in it but for for this one I couldn't do it for some reason. So I feel like it was kind of pred predictable but it wasn't at the same time just because in movies like this you see them escape, you see the guy capture them again and bring them back to where they were being held at and with this you don't really see that. Like you see him catching her being held captive. She escapes, gets away kind of and they do come in contact with each other again throughout the movie, but it's never capturing her and bringing her back. It, she's always getting away and hiding from him, but always, she, he's always on her tail. Yeah. But until the one time where she catches up to him without trying to, it just so happened to be. There are some good scenes and stuff where it is pretty intense or suspenseful. Yeah. Like when she was in the water, just mm -hmm. watching them and stuff. Like that was a good shot too. But also, it was it was just a good scene in general. Like so, it does do have that where it does build up, build up the suspense. But I just feel like not enough. Like with this kind of stuff, when I feel like you're getting chased and all that, like I want to feel like I'm getting chased, <laughs> in the sense where it's like I'm on edge, like she's about to get caught. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple moments where it's like that, but it's not. It's not, it's just not enough. I feel like me. it was like that at its peak and she was in the car with him. And yeah, but even then I just didn't feel it though. I don't know why. Like maybe because the mu there wasn't enough like music that's like, mm, I like don't know. Like it. it was just, I I knew she was there and I knew like she can get caught any moment, mm -hmm. but it just wasn't enough. I don't know. But the fact when she was like hitting him with the bar made me cringe. Like I felt that. And nor yeah, like I no, feel- for sure. Like, I feel like it's like that every single time that happens in a movie, but I felt that. Because it's like, how is he still conscious? <laughs> yeah. Like, he should be knocked out by now. I enjoyed the whole lead up before her getting captured. Like, on the road? The whole thing. Mm -hmm. The whole lead up. I enjoyed the whole, like, that was done really well when I was into it, into it. It's when she got caught and escaped, that whole second half of the movie, I wasn't into it as much. Yeah. I don't feel like they executed it as good as they executed the first half of it. So going into this movie, I didn't really know what it was about. So I was kind of confused in the beginning, like, she left her home, but where is she going? And we never got to see where she was going because he got her. So yeah, I feel like you didn't really have that emotional connection with the main character just because you don't really know much about her. But yeah, so that's going to be it for the review. So let's see what the ratings are. So I would probably give this movie a 70. It, I don't know. There wasn't a lot to the movie. It, like he said, it's like a lot of other movies it didn't really have that key factor to separate it from them. It just gets put into the same category. For me, I probably have to give this a 68, I would say. Like I said, it was good, it wasn't bad, but nothing like worth noting in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't a film that I would recommend. Yeah. Because I feel like there's other films like it, so I'd rather yeah. recommend those ones. 
And you're just really sitting there and watching somebody run through the forest. <laughs> but I'm fine with that. It's the execution of it. Like, it didn't feel as suspenseful or like on edge as it needed to for me to really be into it. Like, you know, you know yeah. when you watch something or even like a scary movie and you know something's gonna happen, you have that feeling of like. Oh, like the gut. Yeah. Like... That's what you should be feeling if you're your, someone, your main character, which is you pretty much, because mm -hmm. that's, you, that's your point of view, is getting chased and all that. You should feel some of that. And I didn't really feel that. Yeah, normally I'm like, run, girl, run, like, go. He's right behind you. Like, I didn't feel that. I was just sitting there like, oh, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> yeah. So, 60, I think, is good for me. She said 70. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And obviously, comment down below your thoughts on the film. I don't know. Did you guys like it more than we did? Because we kind of just seemed like it was okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy. Um, but anyways, my name is Matt. My name is Nicole. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.